Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to today's video where we will be doing another Portsmouth Road to Glory career mode video. Now you may have noticed we have moved on particularly a lot since the last episode, mainly because there was an episode before this, I'll place it in the top right, it had a massive lag spike in terms of timings that the, basically the audio and the visual were not matching up, that they were completely different. Like when I was in the main menu editing this, I could hear commentary from the match and it was just not very attractive. Uh, there was a lot of fragment bursts as well and glitches and going back between parts of the video. So it was really like, kind of very bad to watch and bad to edit. So I just immediately deleted it and said, look, we got to move on. We got to get this video out. So today I'm doing basically a double recording here. I was kind of hoping maybe to have this video for the video after the one I'm meant to be bringing you today. Now the main reason I'm not very happy about this is because a lot of the transfers were done in transfer deadline day coming up to the third hour left on transfer. We got a few signings in, three signings I believe in total on transfer deadline day. We also came up against a first loss as well, not in the league but in the FL Cup against Watford. We lost at home 1-0. But obviously up against Watford, a BPL team, it, we would really struggle. Also as well, we did manage to get an injury with Connor Chaplin as well. Now it is a training injury, not a match injury. I do believe he will be back in a day or two. He's only on a six day uh, training injury. So we're going to have to sadly take him off. And we will put on Doyle instead. Put Chaplin onto the bench and bring on Kabamba. We also made a signing of it. A uh, Bergi Ririo. I call him Danny because I butcher that name every single time. So we call him Danny. We also signed Ozcan on a two year loan. Now I do know this guy pretty well. Um, I did use him in a past career mode. That's why I haven't signed him. I'm only going to use him as a loanee. I'm not going to play him too much. But yeah, we did manage to make a three key signings. I believe we also have obviously Niambe, Ryan Niambe on the right here. So looking pretty good good but yeah this is going pretty well so we're moving into our fifth game I believe against Carlisle United uh, funny enough I do a Carlisle uh, United career mode uh, not for YouTube but just for a little fun basis I'm in like the season 2024 20, at this stage but yeah we're home to Carlisle hopefully we can get a victory here I know Connor Chaplin with the injury he hasn't scored a goal yet now low is probably the key striker we have uh, this season scoring a lot of goals scoring actually four in three games uh, in the last uh, episode. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into today's video and let's see what we can do. Game number one of today's video. Let's do it. Hey, can we get a run going? Oh, low. I'm loving it. Loving it, low. Yes, the Doyle. Doyle oh, unlucky. He got, did get held back. Nice little play there. Unlucky, low. Great ball. Doyle unlucky with the finish. Nice. Nice. Down to low. Low's got no support. Why does low never got support when he needs it? He got the Cadden. Cadden, your touch also as well is pretty bad. Well, you're all bronze rated. You'd expect that from me, but... Oh, nice pass. Doyle. Doyle with the shot. 1-0 in the 24th minute. Lovely little play. Lovely little bit of passing around. Doyle slots into the bottom corner. Who assisted that goal? Uh, I do believe it was low. Maybe that it was low that got the nice little pass. Nice little true ball to Doyle. And then Doyle just slots it into the bottom corner. Absolutely brilliant goal. Well done, lads. Nice one. Nice little defense there. Nice ball to low. Mena. See that Doyle run. Nice little ball over the top. No, it's actually the Naismith. Where's Doyle? Doyle's back post. Can we get it into him? No, can we get the Mena? Oh, unlucky. I think that was Mena running in there for the ball. Nice little pick. Oh, no, not nice little pickup because he just gave the ball away. You squandered possession, but we got it back. Nice pass to Doyle. Where's Doyle going with it? Oh, Mena gets tackled. That is a free ref. Thank you. 
There's been a few times you haven't given me a freeze now and you give me one today. Okay, Missile Ozil down to six for 65 million. <whistles> nice little price tag there. Take a short, simple free kick. Stevens to Mena. Mena's kind of pinned out here. Back to Davis. Back to Mena. Back up to Doyle. Doyle's going to turn and shoot. Oh, great save. McQueen. That's no, not McQueen. To, oh, God, Doyle. Unlucky. <laughs> Oh, it can do really nothing. Good defense. And that's half time. Okay, so 1 0. Not a bad start. Goal coming in the 24th minute from Owen Doyle. Nice little assist from Lowe. Great, great little partnership there. I actually think they might even become a starting duo, but, but obviously you can't deny Connor Chaplin. Has been playing well. I'm going to give him some time. Hopefully, maybe you can get a bit of boost from him. But anyway, yeah, that's the first half. The second half, let's hope we can get a little bit better. Maybe we can see this game out with another goal. But we can only find out. Let's get into the second half. Okay, don't let him get all the way through. Nice tackle, I suppose. You tackled way too early and it kind of worked out in your favor. Right, now we got Jose Mena. I'm liking this run, Mena. Can we get low there? Low's perfect. Nice little play. True ball to Cadden. Cadden has stuck it in the back of the net for his first goal of the season. What a way to get it. Nice. Top corner finish, lovely play, lovely assist from Jose Mena. Cadden takes it, lovely little touch, brings it across, true ball, takes one touch, not even a touch, straight off the bat. What a goal, nice way to start uh, his goal, little frenzy going on, and what a way to start it off. 2 0. Lowe's gonna spot that run from Jose Mena. That's not Jose Mena, that's Rose. Is it going in? It's not, okay, I thought the bounce, the way the bounce was going. I thought that was going in. I forgot I completely um, uh, swapped out Jose Mena for Rose to play in the center uh, attacking mid role. Jose Mena was getting a little bit injured. But Langanzi, oh, can't really do anything about it. Davis takes one horrible bounce touch. Low. Could that be a penalty? Should that be a penalty? He's clay. He wants it to be a penalty. Starts whipping it in. Okay, really odd ball to Naismith. Naismith pops off the shot off the crossbar. Can we get Doyle onto it? Doyle, can I? What is it? Offside. Unlucky, guys. What a shot from Naismith there. Rattling the crossbar. Here we'll have a look at it again if it does show it. Does not show it. It was an offside. Sadly, unlucky. Oh, nice little kick out from Ford. And there we go. There is the final whistle. A 2 0 victory for Portsmouth. What a great victory at home. Uh, Cadden getting his first goal of the season. We got Doyle adding to his goal tally. He's been playing pretty well for us so far, along with the with the combination of Low. Low's been pretty playing really good. Sadly today he wasn't on form. He didn't get his goal today. But look, Low has been playing absolutely amazing. Our strike force is absolutely amazing. We just need Chaplin to get his shooting boots on, and we will have a great striker partnership. Right, so a very important email has came through. Our scouting report has came through and we can have a look at some potential goalkeepers we can get in for this season. Now, they're not necessarily the greatest goalkeepers I have ever seen and what a name they are. Okay, so we have here who they're both eligible to play but their rating isn't necessarily what I'm looking for. These are more of a players that we just in for a season or two. I want a keeper that can come in and just be an out, like a shine, like be a top class goalkeeper really. That's what I'm looking for. And I don't know if these guys can offer to me yet, but what we'll do is we'll give it another month. Hopefully things will improve. Hopefully we have a bigger list and we'll see what happens. So guys, we are coming up away against Gloucester and this could be a pretty crucial game because this could separate us even further from second and third place. Well, it seems to be tied second at this stage. This could separate us massively from second place if we could pull a victory here be absolutely amazing now i gotta sort out the squad because i do have a game two days later and that's against wickham so i do have to like kind of sort out who i want to play for this game and who i want to play for the next game because i cannot afford to play players in back-to-back -back games it will just tire them out and that's the last thing i want to do and it could improve injuries Right, so I decided to keep the team lineup the exact same as we had for the last game. It seemed to do pretty well, and obviously with Chaplin just coming back from injury, I'd like him to maybe stay out just for a little bit longer to make sure he's 100% fit. So let's see if we can get ourselves a victory and we manage to go actually 1-0 down and picking up a key injury. 
Hopefully this doesn't mean he's out for a good while. Naismith getting the equalizer. Great little equalizer right there. So we have the substitution. Burgess is going to be injured. Hopefully not for too long. We got Rose coming on for Lang... Uh, Lang uh, <laughs> I can't even say things. I'm commentating really quick. Low getting the goal again. That's what I'm saying. Low is playing absolutely amazing. Mena is coming off as well. A two-way victory. 2-1 away victory right there. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Especially when it comes to commentating here. So we got to look at it here. We got an injury coming in. That could be a massive worry. We do have some center backs. We can roll into that position. We got Naismith getting the equalizer. And then Lowe getting the 76th winner goal for a 2-1 victory. Absolutely amazing victory right there. Undefeated in the league so far. This is crazy in home and away. I'm loving this so far. Now the only worry is obviously that injury. So we'll have a look. So uh, Christian Burgess is suffered a pulled hamstring and will be out for seven days. Okay, that is not bad. That is actually, you know what? That's a very, that's a lot of weight off my shoulders there. I was kind of worried that he'd be out for maybe a good long term, especially in like maybe a couple of weeks because a couple of weeks could make a massive difference in this league. And as I was saying, this puts us massively in the difference between first and second. As you can see, Colchester have now fallen and now they are in fourth place. We are now four points ahead of uh, Leighton Orient. We've also got Grimsey Town just behind them with two points. And then we've got Colchester with one tied with Cheltenham Town. This is going really, really well, guys. Now we got a home game against Wickham Wonders. I am going to sort out the team and we're going to go into that. So hopefully we can pull out another victory. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Right, so let's do this. Game number three, final game of this episode. Hopefully, you know, we can end it with a bang. Nice little pass to Kabamba. Nice little true ball to Chaplin. We're going to need a little bit of support here. we got Evans up on the right. Nice little cross in to... Oh, Danny to Danny. Unlucky Danny. Oh, that kind of worked out very well for Chaplin. Nice little pass. we got Danny. Going to give a true ball to... Oh, unlucky. Nice little... That's a pass back again. This game is ridiculous for a pass back. Literally do not need to roll of feet. Into the hands of Richardson. Nice little save there. But nice uh, throw out. Well, not really in his view. Kind of a poor throw out. There we go. We got Kambamba on the ball. Right to Bennett. Bennett back to Connor Chaplin. Bennett. Oh, can Connor Chaplin score? Connor Chaplin cannot. What is happening here? We cannot seem to get a goal with Connor Chaplin. Probably one of the... Nicest players on the field in terms of their rating and age. We just can't seem to get this guy going. What are they going to do with it? Can we get some? Can we get someone to block this down? We've got two people. Okay, we got four. We don't need three people on this dude. We only need one. This is what happened the last game when we played. Everyone decided to man mark one person and ended up leaving the defense quite empty. And great save by Ford, lads. We need to sort out this um, younger kind of lower rated defense because it seems to be everyone wants to like choke on this one player and want to keep mar man marking him. But then you're leaving the box wide open. We need to sort this out. Nice little true ball to Connor Chaplin. That is definitely on side. We're going to get a penalty here, though. We get a nice penalty. Can Connor Chaplin score? I'm going to give this Connor Chaplin. This could be a red card as well, judging by the run and the fact that it was last man back. There we go. They have got a red card. They're down to 10 men. Now, this could be absolutely amazing. We could definitely do some damage right here, especially with that center back out of the way right now. And hopefully, yes, it's Connor Chaplin who's going to be taking it. Can he get his first goal of the season? We'll find out here as we take the corner. Oh, but it's a save! What a save by Richardson! Connor Chaplin is denied with the penalty. That was a beautifully placed penalty. Great save by Richardson. And that's going to go out for a corner. Nice little pass there by Chaplin. Chaplin up to... Going to be uh, Danny. 
Danny gets blocked down straight away though. Danny is a little bit tired at this moment. I think we need to work on his stamina a little bit. But we got him blocked down here. Oh nice. Can we get a little hold up? Why are the, the centre backs all the way up so high up the pitch? Right, so we're going to take a nice little touchdown. Danny's going to kick it back. And that is going to be half time. Realistically looking at this, we have been all over him. We just can't seem to score. Them picking up a red card, us getting a penalty and getting denied. Connor Shaplin getting denied. I don't know what it is. I can't get this guy started on the scoring frenzy. Like, we need to get this guy started scoring. Because I guarantee you, once we score one, he will score a hundred. Okay, no, we do not like this. We do not like this. Where are my centre? Why, why did no one contest that in the air? No one contested that. Now we're getting blocked down. Now they're really putting us under pressure right here. They're getting all the free space to move the ball around. We need to do something. Okay, they're looking like they want to try and make me do a stupid tackle. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. I do not like the ball being in the box for that long of a time. There we go. Now right, let's, let's pick this up. Ozkan to Connor Chaplin. We're going to get a nice over ball to Bennett. Nice little ball to Bennett. Can we get... I think that's Kabamba right into the box. Can we get it in? I think I just like headbutted the keeper's stomach. He's definitely winded. How is he getting up? <laughs> right, they've got on the attack now. We're on the defensive end. Can we pick up the ball? Nice little pickup from Bennett. Now let's get Oskan onto the ball. Connor Chaplin, nice little true ball. Can we take it back in? Nice over top ball. Back down to Danny. Danny's going to be out of breath here now. We got Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin, can he finish it? No, he can't. Kabamba, what? Are you kidding me, guys? Come on. Two key, very good chances right there. Off the crossbar and then misses it with a sitter. Now, I do know those are pretty hard to kick. And look, even I'm annoyed in the game. I'm annoyed in real life. But the game is even annoyed. That should have been a 1-0 right there, guys. Come on. Chaplin back up to Ozcan. Nice little true ball to Evans. Evans drags it back to Ozcan. What's happening here? Chaplin... What's going on, Chaplin? Can he score? Chaplin scores! Chaplin scores his first goal of the league. About six games later, finally gets into the scoring frenzy that I've been wanting to get into. Nice ball from Evans. Sadly, Ozkan misses it with a fake shot. Takes it around the centre back and slots it in with a P-roller into the bottom right corner. Oh, thank God you have scored. Welcome to Portsmouth. Hopefully we can see a little bit more from you. Pass it back out to Evans. Evans straight to Danny. Danny to Chaplin. Chaplin's going to give a ball to Gabamba. He's going to see a nice little play there from the new set from the centre mate that just came on. Can he finesse it into the goal? Oh my god, I thought that was a goal. I literally had goal written on my like lips right there. I was about to say goal. And sadly, off the post. The post has been a nemesis in today's game. We have had like so many chances off the post, so many chances off the crossbar. You just think they'd go in for once, wouldn't you? And there we go, we have it, the full-time whistle, a 1-0 victory. Thanks to Connor Chaplin finally getting on the score sheet. You would have thought he would have scored the penalty. But look, we will take it, a 1-0 victory. Came in, I believe, the 60-something minute, the 65th minute. But it was a good goal, nice little assist. And we will take it and we will move right on. So guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you let me know down below if you could smash a like rate and maybe 15 to 20 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. And if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe. We'll be bringing you out daily FIFA content with the career mode and both the ultimate team. So guys, as I said, that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed it and we'll see you for the next one. Bye.